case they haven't told you face to face, your colleagues have these common complaints about meetings that you and they attend. People digress. They talk all around an idea and I often miss their point. Or they complain. Some people don't pay attention to where we are in the process. It's like they've been out to lunch for 10 minutes behind the discussion we're having. Or they complain. You can't get people to speak up in the meeting. Then they go out in the hallway and they whine about what was decided. Or another complaint. A few people dominate. Others never even open their mouth. Or here's one. You can't get people to agree and come to a decision. You've probably heard those yourself. Well, don't be the culprit that causes these complaints. Here are a few specific don'ts to keep you in good graces of your colleagues. First, omit war stories. When you have an audience of admirers, don't yield to the temptation to tell war stories, share inside jokes, and recount wonderful things you once did. Unless time is of no importance to the rest of the group, don't. And of course, where is that the case? Don't ask a question simply to ask a question. Some team members become uncomfortable with silence. So when a colleague tosses out an idea, they feel compelled to, quote, get the ball rolling by asking a question. Don't. If you really don't have a legitimate question and you don't care about the issue one way or the other, don't add to the productivity problem by opening your mouth. Hours have been lost by people chasing down answers to questions that should have never been asked and questions that bear little or no relevance to the discussion of the problem at hand. 